Hey guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench, and I've got another review for you. It's a haul. I've had a delivery come from Ed down at Premium Hobbies down in Western Supermare. As you know, I get pretty much all of my supplies, and these days a lot of kits as well from Ed. Um, so, I don't know what's in here, so I thought we'll have a little surprise. It's a Friday afternoon, it's, where is it now? Half past three, 29th of July 2022. So we'll have a little video and see what goodies I've got. Because I, I know there's a couple of bits in here that I've been waiting for for a while. And to be honest, I can't remember what they are. <laughs> but um, this is the second package I've had from Ed this week. So we'll have a little look and we'll see what's in here. Have a little looky-loo. So if I can get this bloody box opened, we should be good to go. What's going on here? It doesn't want to open. Come on, open. Oh, there we are. It's one of these that I have to pull that tab out and then I can open it. Right, so what's in here? Got some paper. Dead Andy. Some more paper. Oh, I've been waiting for this. This is the Ammo Mig Ammo Ultra Glue. Apparently it's amazing. I've been really, really waiting to try this. The only thing that does worry me, this has come out of a very warm van. It's very, very warm, this stuff. So I hope it's not all gone off. What's this here? This is the black slow dry cyanacrylate cement. I've been waiting to try this. Again, another ammo make product. Uh, I'm not sure how thick it is. It looks like it's gone solid. Oh no, it's just stained the bottle, that's all. Sounds quite thin, so that's good. Apparently the black means it's rubberized, so um, it remains slightly flexible. Ha ah, Here's one I wanted to try. This is the... Um, I think this is the aqueous Mr. Surfacer. Now we all know about my passion for Mr. Surfacer, so now I have 14 bottles. Yeah, this is the aqueous Mr. Surfacer, and apparently it works really well. Cool, that's good. It hardly smells at all. So I'm guessing you could use this with like Tamiya thinners. I'll have to have a look. I'll have a look online and see what other people are doing with it. But um Somebody told me, I'm sorry mate, I forget who you are now, but somebody told me they'd use this with Mr. Cutter Leveling Thinners and it's absolutely amazing. And apparently it's a lot less, well, we know it's a lot less smelly. So what we got here, we have um, Mr. Masking Tape Low Adhesion. I didn't know I was getting this. Mr. Masking Tape High Adhesion. Okay, that should be interesting because the Mr. Hobby Masking Tape is very sticky anyway. Uh, they're both 10 millimeters wide, so we'll give these a go. Perhaps we'll try them out on that Bismarck turret. But the low adhesion, the, that, that one will be great for the first masking, and then when you're asking masking onto other paints, especially if you've been doing hairspray and stuff, then probably that one's going to be really good. We'll see what it's like. So what have we got in here? We got a... there's a lot of paint here, guys. I didn't order all this paint. Ed, what have you been doing? Look at this. Oh my God. So no Mars bars either. Which I suppose is lucky because if they put Mar if he put Mars bars in there, we probably have chocolate mixed with all our lovely bits and pieces because it would have melted. Because this is so warm, this is like a bloody oven. Right, so let's put all this on that to see what we got in here. So then, these look like um, fancy paint. I can see Mr. Hobby through there. Ooh, what the colour of that? What's he sending me here? This is more like it. These are Tamiya LPs. Right, so let's get rid of that bubble wrap. So let's have a look at these LPs first, what we've got in here. I have been buying loads of LP paints lately. So we have LP5, semi-gloss black, which is awesome. LP23, which is the flat clear, which is awesome. It dries with a very, very slight sheen. It's lovely. Dark Ghost Grey, yes. LP36. I haven't got that one, so I've got a couple of those. Because that's a lovely colour for things. All sorts of things. So we can now spray lots of things. So that's pretty cool. And don't forget guys, all of this stuff is available from Ed at Premium Hobbies. And if you use the code NMB10, you can get 10% off. So these are interesting. I bought these Japanese colours, basically because I haven't got them. So LP33, which is grey green, and LP31, which is dark green. So this is going to be one of the colours for the aircraft, and this is for, I don't know what, I just bought them because I haven't got them, and Chris has got the full set, and I don't, so that's not fair. And this is LP60, more deck tan, because I think I'm going to be painting the uh, decks on my ships from now on. Ooh, 
Now, I've always wanted to try these. I'm a bit late to the party, but I think these things are absolutely amazing. This is the Mr. Color Super Metallic 2. So this is super rich gold. You can see that's beautiful. Super rich gold. And then we have here, Super Metallic 2, Super Geralmin. Looks like it's very got very, very fine pigment in it, so that's going to be really nice. And Super Kappa, I can only think that's copper. Wow, look at that. That's lovely, isn't it? But I don't know how how this stuff works for smell. Oh, God. <laughs> that would waken a dead man. Jesus. Sorry, I, didn't, I shouldn't use blasphemous language. That really smells. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll get those out and we'll put those away on our shelf in a minute. We'll get rid of that box. Right. So, that's all the LP stuff taken care of. This Ultra Glue... Apparently it is absolutely amazing for photo etching clear parts. This is what it says on there. It's dead strong. It's not I'm saying this is all here, so I'm gonna do a test of it. It's not in fact I can use this on that Bismarck, that would be great on that Bismarck turret. Um apparently it's not all sort of soft and gooey like white glue is. Um it has a pretty instant bond, but it remains flexible so you can move the parts around and it dries dead clear. So um this is really funny. Jess has got one of those LP boxes and she's chewing it to pieces. What have you got, Jess? What have you got there? <laughs> right, so what's in here? I know I haven't got a clue. I saw this in here. Now this all looks like, oh my God. Hey, it's like a candy store. So what have we got in here? We have Mr. Color, Mr. Metallic Color GX. This is interesting. Blue gold. I've seen that color caught up somewhere and it's like hen's teeth. Now, Mr. Color GX, as we know, I have the black. And this is probably one of the best gloss black paints you'll get anywhere. Uh, especially if you're going under alclads and stuff. It's absolutely amazing. So, they've basically now done GX in a metallic. So it's going to be a lacquer paint, so it's going to be smelly, guys. Yeah, it's smelly. Whoa! Um... And yeah, you're going to be uh, needing masks and extractors and stuff. So this is number 210. That's blue gold. So what we'll do is I'll put it like that. You don't just see the front. I can tell you what number is, but you can see what colour the top is then, can't you? And then we've got this one here, which is GX Metal Yellow Green. Wow. And then we've got GX Metal Peach. Bloody hell. It's like a pinky colour. What on earth am I going to use these on? GX Rough Silver. Oh yeah, look at that, you can see in there. You can see it all moving around. Look at that. Is it all moving around in there? <laughs> That's going to be really interesting. That'll be like a really rough finish. That'd be great. Uh, then here we have Red Gold. So that's the blue gold and that's the red gold. Ooh, what if they do a yellow gold for that, like that um, gold film you have a heat heat shield on cars? This one is the GX Metal Violet. Bloody hell! I'm gonna have to start doing custom cars, aren't I? And we have another box here. This one is. Let's have a look in here. GX Metal Green. So, very interesting colour there, excuse me. Ooh, look at this one. Metal purple. I think they're metal, they mean metallic. And then we've got metal red. So we've got metallic red, that'd be good for your aluminium hose connectors and stuff. And then we've got a metallic blue, that looks like a beautiful colour, doesn't it? It's no good looking at the bottom. We need to look at the, look at that round the top there. That colour is beautiful. Really nice. Then we have a metallic black, that would be really handy. And then we have a metal yellow. Ooh, is this the colour we're looking for? Hmm, I think it is. That's the colour we need for our heat shields. Although I've just come up with a way of doing it by using LP48 LP sparkling silver, followed by light coatings of clear orange, followed by light coatings of clear yellow. You can get that perfect gold heat shield film they use on race cars. So there you go. But it looks like we may have that paint there. 
Right, what have we got here? This is rough gold. I don't know what they mean by rough. I'm guessing they mean heavily. The metallic particles are big because you can see in there. Like we have that silver, you can see it all moving around in there. That's interesting. And then we've got metal dark blue. Oh, bloody hell, there's some beautiful blue colours here. Uh, white silver, that's going to be really nice for our uh, metal coats. Then we have here ice silver, that's got like a blue tinge to it by the look of it. Let's have a look at the paint, see what it looks like. God, it stinks. We can see in there we've got that very heavily metallized paint. It's going to need a lot of stirring. And then finally we have here metal bloody red. Can you imagine some of these colours with a clear coat over them on like a on a pickup truck or something like that? It's going to look absolutely incredible. There we go. Really, really nice. I'm going to have to do something and try one or two of these out. Because I do actually like blue and orange, but there's no real orange here. What could I do a two-tone with? I don't know. Perhaps blue and silver? But, um, yeah, so there we are. I'll just go through once again. So we've got 201, that's metal black. It's metallic black. We've got a metallic purple. We've got a metallic green. Metallic red. Metallic violet. We've got here metallic red gold. Metallic blue gold, rough gold, and then here we've got yellow gold, metallic yellow. Okay, so I reckon that could be the colour for that foil. Then we've got here a GX ice silver, a GX white silver, and then we've got a GX rough silver. So you can see there the difference in the pigments in those is quite incredible. So they're really nice. And then we've got here, we've got the yellow green. We've got the metal peach, which is like a pinky colour. I guess if you're into Gundam and stuff, this would be really good. Metal bloody red. What a beautiful colour that would be for like a car or something. Metal dark blue. And then we've got metal blue. So, yeah. Very impressive range of colours. Really, really nice. And to put alongside my new LPs as well. And these um, super metallics. Yeah, lovely. So... This black super glue we won't look at now. I don't know if it's open. Yes, it's one of these pre-opened bottles, so that's pretty cool. I generally find this is the type of lid that the Vital Bond use, and I generally find that these um, these lids don't seize up so easily as the other ones. Um, so we've got our aqueous Mr. Surfacer. I'm really looking forward to trying this. See what this says and what you can mix it with and everything. Um, maybe even water. I don't know. Uh, so we've got our Super Metallics, we've got our Ultra Glue, which I can't wait to try. And we will try that because I'm I'm just editing now part one of the um, build. Yes, yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't even smell like white glue. Apparently it's amazing stuff. I know Paul Plastic Monkey uses it and he loves it. So I'll have to uh, give myself an education on how to use that. And then we've got these masking tapes, which are, let's have a look and see what this is all about. So we've got this one here, which is low adhesion. So I'm guessing the good thing with this is, because the one thing I hate is when I detack masking tape on my hand, I often pull a hair off. So that's always a pain. But this is, um, well, if that's low adhesion, <laughs> blame me. It's very thin. I doubt if you can see on the screen, but that is so much thinner than Tamiya tape. It certainly feels like it. But that's the low adhesion, so the high adhesion, my god. I guess this would be really good for building with, for um, you know, putting parts together. That's good. They've got orange and blue on there, so we know which is which. But, um, Oh, blimey. Again, it's very thin. Is it tough? I can't rip that. There we go, I can. But <laughs> it took all my strength. Yeah, so very, very good for building, that won't be. 
So yeah, really impressive stuff. So I'll be using this one for building and I'll try this one out for masking because it feels very, very thin. My biggest issue has always been, as you know, with Mr. Hobby tape is it's too sticky for masking. It bloody rips everything off. But um, this is going to be really good for building because it feels like it's very strong and uh, with the high adhesion it should stay in place and not, not peel off. So there we go, guys. That's my little... Um, Paul from Mr. Hobby, from Mr. Hobby, well, it's from Mr. Hobby most of it, isn't it? From, um, from Ed down at Premium Hobbies. Don't forget, as I said, if you want any of this stuff at all, head on down to, um, just checking there's nothing else in here. I'm not being greedy, I'm just checking he hasn't put anything else in. No, um, just head on down to uh, Mr. Uh, Premium Hobbies. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Hobby again. Premium Hobbies, premiumhobbies.co.uk. Don't forget, use my code NMB10 and you will get 10% off your order. Okay, so uh, I'll see you all soon and thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.